Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Hoyt, Hoyman Tree Saws, Lone Wolf Tree Stands, Nikon, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, RTP Outdoors, Spot Hog Releases, Wasp Archery, Viking Solutions, and Realtree. I guess we'll just park right here again. Those deer seem to come right here, but they just walked right by it last time. Do you remember how many sticks we need? Just one at the bottom? Alright, you got your stand. Let's go. You can see our, check out our tree from here. The only one with cover over there. We're gonna be about 10 feet off the ground. It's November 11th. Happy Veterans Day and thank you to all those who have served and are serving. We appreciate you. Brad and I are set up on a farm that we hunted uh, one time so far this year. Uh, if you remember, it was a, a farm that had a big flooded bean field. Well, they finally got in here and, and combined all these beans except for a couple small sections right here uh, that are left standing. Uh, we got a nice northwest wind. It's a little bit warmer today, around 40 degrees, uh, but still pretty nice. Nice northwest wind blowing back towards this creek. Um, there were a couple solid bucks on trail camera here last, uh, but I know there's got to be some more better ones around. So we're just kind of trying a new spot and hoping. We'll see. Um, we're getting to that point where uh, hopefully even new bucks are traveling in here too. So not giving up hope on this place. I think it has potential. So we should be able to see a lot. Uh, a lot of the cover has disappeared, and uh, hopefully we can call something within bow range. I believe we have a hot doe. Yeah, she had. She looked like she had been running pretty hard. Her tongue was hanging out. That little buck was right on her. And 20 minutes later, the second buck was right on that trail too. So we just need something big to come across her trail and come by. It's pretty cool having the deer go by us that close because we're not very high off the ground. This tree has a lot of cover and it's small, so we're like 12 feet up at the most. So hopefully, something big cross that trail and comes right by too. Not a big bell. I'm gonna do the same thing they did last time. I'm gonna go stomp around the buggy again. She's got that spot on her, and then her legs or her feet, or the lower part of her leg is white. Uh, we just had a few does work through. They're kind of coming in and out, but they are fed the beans a little bit, and now they're working out towards that corner where all the deer have gone. That one was kind of cool. She had the she had the white socks on on her back feet. She also had a white spot kind of on her left shoulder. So kind of cool color and characteristic there. But I keep watching over here where we had that hot doe run by, and I haven't had anything else come back yet but we're getting down to prime time now. Too far upwind. Not 
second one. Just came out the same spot. Pretty good buck. That's pretty good. I'll try to rattle it. You ready? Yeah. Is he looking? Yeah. What? Yeah. That's a perfect example of how fast your season can change. I mean, you know, Brad and I have hunted so hard, and this is the first shooter we've seen. I don't know how many days of hunting, but that's the first shooter we've seen. And uh, it's funny, I got in the stand tonight, and I turned to Brad and I said, I have a good feeling about tonight for some reason. He said, I was just gonna tell you the same thing. For some reason, all the deer, they seem to go right out, right out by where we park our buggy. And uh, we just had three does go through and then two bucks. This guy and another one. And I tried grunting and I couldn't tell if they could hear me or not. So I grabbed the rattle and antlers and him together and he came in on a string. He's a good deer. Man, it's starting to shake now. Whew, it just happens just like that. I, I can't believe that. All right, we went back to the truck, got some things, and uh, staying right over the arrow right now. So I'm gonna grab that, and then you guys saw him die out in the field. So I'm excited to get out and take a look at him. we go that's a big old body look at that thing he's got better mass than I thought look at those beams man that's awesome well here he is he's an awesome deer uh, even better in person he's got cool character super long beams good mass just a, a, a beautiful mature buck and uh the hunt is really what made this special I, I mentioned the tree but brad and i have been hunting so hard and uh it was a challenging year for me uh having moved and lost permission on farms and uh um you know having to start over and then the flooding and all that it had a lot of things uh, working against us uh but we continued to hunt hard and and it paid off today you know things i, I said in the tree but things can change on a dime especially this time of year um 
I grunted at this deer. Um, he was a few hundred yards upwind, and I, I wasn't sure if he could actually hear. So that's when I decided to rattle, and I thought it was really interesting to see what he did uh, when we rattled. He he didn't care about getting downwind. He just made a beeline straight to us. Um, he didn't try to circle, didn't try to do anything. So that's a, just an example of what some of these some of these bucks can mess up during the rut and just uh, you know kind of throw caution to the wind. Um, so I was very surprised he came right on a line like that, but I'll take it. It, it, it was awesome. It made the hunt uh, really special. Being able to rattle in a mature buck a few hundred yards away was pretty cool. Um, just a, a really cool deer, and I couldn't be happier. I have uh, uh, my landowner tag, obviously, so I'll be back hunting my farm uh, when I get a chance. But it definitely feels good to, to get a really good buck on the ground. I could not hold that any longer.